I want to talk about something different. We are trying to start a company using Creative Commons. So in the 15th century, actually in 1494, there was a monk who was a professor of math and a friend of Leonardo da Vinci. And he published one of the first books on the Gutenberg Press. And it was very interesting because it actually documented something that existed, which was how to do double book accounting. Sounds very exciting, I'm sure. <laughs> but fundamentally, this is the reason why trade took off all over the world. And uh, interestingly, almost nothing has changed since then. And even today, only 20% of what's on the US uh, balance sheets can be explained by uh, accounting. So knowledge cannot be is not in the balance sheets. It's pretty sad. In the 16th century, another thing, interesting thing happened. Actually, in, on November 15, 1532, 168 Spanish uh, soldiers arrived in Peru. And there were 80,000 Inca troops waiting, uh, not very happily, on the other side. In 24 hours, um, the emperor was captured, and 7,000 Inca warriors died. One possible set of explanations for this is because the Spaniards had knowledge of a similar instance of 100 or so years ago, whereas the uh, Incas did not. So knowledge cost a continent. And if you fast forward to year 2000, in a study of 4,500 uh, employees at technology intensive companies, it turned out that less than 10% had access to lessons already learned. So imagine if your doctor was actually trying to treat you and every time he or she treated you, they assumed that 90% of the time they'd never seen this disease ever on the planet. Imagine the time they'd waste. That's the truth with knowledge sharing today. It's been around for a long time, it's been hyped for many, many years. One of the reasons it hasn't taken off is, uh, as nerds, we fixate on technology, right? So there has to be a solution, a database, artificial intelligence, all sort of cool stuff. Uh, for those of us in support and service, it's all about FAQ, or frequently asked questions on steroids. Or it's very, very theoretical. And most of it tells you what to do, but not specifically how to do. I need expensive consultants like us to make it stick, because you have to keep coming back over and over. So the solution we come up with, and there's about uh, five of us from four continents playing with this, with a lot of other people's help. We have come up with something called Dancing E. And the idea is we will help people and companies understand where they are now in terms of sharing knowledge, and help them with specific steps with how to get to where they want to go. And we'll use techniques from technology, of course, uh, domain expertise, behavioral science as well, and uh, measures. All our content will be available via uh, Creative Commons. So it's a subscription-based model, and the only reason you'll pay for a subscription is for live help. Everything else will be given for free on uh, Creative Commons. And we want to move this from high-tech to uh, even places like uh, battered women's shelters. Everybody needs help with sharing knowledge, and we can do that. So this methodology that you see, very easy to understand, <laughs> has been around for 20 plus years. Uh, it's called Knowledge Centered Support, and it's actually very, very good, but it's a little bit theoretical. So here's an example of how we're moving it to Dancing E. The concept, the name Dancing E stands for Dancing Elephant, and that's because uh, there's a book by the Heath brothers called Make, Make it, Making It Stick, and in that they talk about uh, directing the rider, motivating the elephant, and shaping the path. And the elephant is the subconscious the part that's muscle, muscle repetition. And uh, the rider is the brain and the conscious part of you that has to think about doing the right things. And uh, shaping the path may, means making it easy to do the right things. So a simple analogy would be if you're in a hospital and you see a lot of people coming in with uh, knife wounds, doing things right would make sure you take care of each person properly, efficiently, and quickly get them to triage. But when you're thinking about doing the right things, you might actually step back and look for the idiot with the knife. So that's what we're trying to help companies do and do it in a delightful way. We're looking for early beta customers. Actually, today is the first time we're actually publicly announcing it. But we've got uh, about 20 people working on this around the world. So thank you, and thank you, Creative Commons. <laughs>